So do you know what this Tuesday is, June 1st? No. It is the anniversary of Lizzie Borden's death. Oh, really? So you have to definitely announce that tonight at the show. <laughs> yeah, June 1st, 1927 is anniversary. Lizzie Borden died of pneumonia. Not 40 minutes from here. Wow. That's insane. Have you been to the Lizzie Borden house in no. Fall River? No. Never? Never. Any desire to go uh, there? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean it's, it's not a big priority. Uh, even when I had the name, I really didn't do any research at all. I just liked the name and I uh, liked, uh, you know, it wasn't like I was trying to do an impersonation of what she did. I took the ax in the name and that was it. You know, that's as far as I went with it. Well, obviously here on the East Coast, it's a big, it's a big tourist attraction. It's a um, bed and breakfast. Right. How did you come about to learn about his, uh, Lizzie Borden? Uh, you know, from the song, really. I mean, uh, that, the song when you're a kid, you hear that song, and you know, it, it goes in. You maybe hear a little bit about what the, the whole thing was about, but you really don't know. And uh, and I never did until much later. And then uh, when it came time to to looking for a band name and maybe and maybe a name for myself, that came that came about, and I just said, "Yep, bam, I'll take that." You know, that that worked. Now, recently, the music community lost Ronnie James Dio, Paul Gray from Slipknot. Um, you being a singer, how influential was Ronnie James Dio to you? Oh man, I mean, he was he was a master. I personally think uh, the first Heaven and Hell record really started heavy metal. I mean, we were playing, you know, at that time uh, with other bands and everything, and it was kind of the end of hard rock, and heavy metal hadn't really, you know, it might have been happening in Europe, or in, in London, maybe London, but it wasn't happening in L.A. But when that album came out, you know, with Ozzy in it, they were a blues band with some black stuff going on. But when Ronnie joined, it was a heavy metal band with a heavy metal singer, and it un united that kind of thing, and everyone just jumped on that bandwagon and followed it. So it was the right voice with the right sound at the right time, and I think that was really the album that jump-started the whole heavy metal scene in the 80s. So he was so influential on everybody, and especially if you're a singer, you know, you want to follow someone who's so well uh, a craftsman in his, in, in, in his particular instrument that uh, you know you could never even get close to what he's done you know but you try to aspire to. And I read someplace that I think you were actually at a Dio concert the first time you heard Lizzie on the radio? That's right yeah we were it was in Santa Monica Civic he was doing two shows in one night and uh, we were going to the second show but we were in the parking lot and we had no idea what was going to come on it was a big radio station the biggest radio station in all of LA and, uh, and we were just sitting there and uh, you know everyone's hanging out in the parking lot you know giant I mean, there was you know everyone that was coming to the second show was in the parking lot so it was thousands of people and uh, all of a sudden you know everybody had the radios on so it's just blasting you know, a parking lot uh, party like they they've had many times but then all of a sudden our song comes on and it's just you know you can hear it in every single car it was kind of a magic moment for us it was you know being on a, such a big radio station and being, you know, okay, this is it, and being at a Dio show, you know, we walked in with smiles on our faces on that second show and watched it, and I remember every detail about that show. So it was one of those moments, one of those nights that you just don't forget, and uh, it's, it's, it was... Did you ever have the opportunity to meet Ronnie? Not really. I mean, uh, I've had so many people that know him personally and everything. Uh, I, I saved him once. <laughs> We were at this party and I mean, everybody was there, Billy Idol, everybody. And some photographer had put his bag right in front of me and he was wa and Theo was walking right towards me and he tripped on the bag and I caught him. <laughs> and he said thanks. But uh, so I never actually had the opportunity to meet him. But uh, the, when the Heaven Hell came in uh, LA, I was right on the side of the stage, right, right on the stage. And it's just listening to that magic voice was just amazing. 